So let's just get into it. I look crazy right now, but I'm finally in the mood to make this video. I'm talking really fast in this video, but I knew I had to because y'all would just get bored and start daydreaming halfway through it. I feel like with this, a lot of girls have it and not a lot of guys have it. I don't think I've ever heard of one guy having this. Um, so yeah, it's more of a girl trait, I guess. And if you're researching it, which you should, because I'm only just giving an overview of the causes of it and they're not lining up, then it could be linked with Asperger's. The whole thing of self-discovery starts with figuring out why. So figuring out why is like the causes of it. That means you have to look into your childhood and you cannot be scared to do that so then you can go from there. I'm making this video for the people that don't want to go to therapy, they can't afford it, and they just want to heal like themselves. I would summarize the feeling you get from it, y'all know what I'm talking about, as like fake happiness, right? Because like it's so fun and amazing and all that and you're having so much fun while you're doing it. But then, at least when you're trying to quit, I feel like when you get to the stopping point, you're like, I just want to quit. It gets to a point where it's not fun anymore because it's like interfering with your life. So this could mean like you're dissociating out in public, things don't seem real, or like you're just thinking too much. That was it for me. That's why I really wanted to stop because it got so bad where like, I couldn't have one minute of silence like there was always something going on in my head and it was from maladaptive daydreaming because if you're always activating your mind it's not gonna know when to shut up so that's what led me on to quitting you know whatever reason it is for you if you do want to stop um, it takes a lot of dedication and I honestly recommend stopping when you've gotten to a crossroads and you're like I just want out like when you really hit rock bottom so if it has been affecting your life, there is a way out of it. It's just very hard and you need to be really dedicated and you're probably going to slip up here and there and you need to learn self-forgiveness before you go on that journey because when you slip up, it's not a reason to just go back. Like I slipped up a couple of times when I was quitting and I just kept going. I said, you know what? I forgive myself. I slipped up. But now I'm going to make another goal, don't do it for at least 10 days, and I'll forgive myself if I slip up. But then after each time, I would like lengthen the time. And if you guys have been trying to quit, and you're just like, I don't know how to do this, because it really, it can feel impossible. Like, one of this is one of the biggest disorders that I feel like it is so hard to quit, because... We have been doing this probably almost our whole life, right? We ain't gonna lie, this is our like lifestyle, right? Like, chances are you probably do this every day, and if not every day, almost every day. And maybe you even have uh, pretend relationships with these people that you're doing it with. And with me, when I stopped, it felt like, like when I was stopping in my head, I was so into it. I feel like when I was stopping, I was leaving those people that I created behind and then I had to remind myself and I was like those aren't even real people <laughs> like because it can feel like that at times like when you're stopping you feel like you're leaving this part of your life behind when in reality you're just leaving your that fake part of your life behind because it is fake I feel like you really have to remind yourself that when you're stopping first create a goal plan and then as you're going down this journey, when you're coming up with different thoughts and maybe you're just like, oh, I just really miss it. I miss all these people that I was pretending to be with. I miss the happiness. If you're thinking about going back, write down your thoughts. Like journal. I know you guys love to write. That goes hand in hand with it. Journal all this stuff out. Get as dark as you need to get because honesty is going to be your friend through all of this, okay? But make sure when you're writing out these things, counteract it with the reason why you keep going. So with one of my reasons, I was like, I miss the feeling I got with it. Then I wrote, but that was fake happiness. And when I stop doing this, I'm going to feel so much happier. My brain isn't going to be on all the time. I'm going to be so much more at peace. I'm not going to be dissociating. So whatever reason you have, counteract it with the better reason that keeps you going. And there's always a better reason, trust me. If you haven't found one, you just need to look closer in your mind um, and just remind yourself, like, I'm, I'm going to keep going and I'm just going to 
keep pushing through when you're relapsing like i said forgive yourself and when you do this write down your feelings before you relapse and write down your feelings afterwards because usually afterwards you feel like oh why did i do that and it's so important to write down those feelings because that's gonna help you keep going i relapsed i think three times every 10 days i think in the first month so that first 30 days it was like every 10 days i relapsed then after that triggers when you're on the journey and even after the journey be careful with triggers you know if you listen to a certain song that you used to mouth after day drink to all the time don't listen to that song like if you know you're not supposed to listen to it even after like months after this i still won't listen to certain songs to this day because i'm like that's a trigger for me you know don't be naive either like even if you've quit after two months you still have to put in those practices because you've been doing this almost your whole life like don't go easy and naive on yourself and just like oh i haven't done it in two months you know i can just go back to listening to everything that was a trigger to me like just follow your intuition that's another thing really listen to your intuition when you're doing this okay with coming with that, you need to silence your mind first. And this was one of the hardest things of me quitting. It was my mind was on all the fucking time. And most of it, I would be like sitting down and I would almost go into it. And then I would have to like ground myself. And I'm going to put in a recommendation that I don't think everybody should use. You should use this wisely. If you're not okay with this, don't use it. Weed. When I was grounding myself with this, because in my case, it silenced my mind. However, use it wisely. If it's not good with you, then don't do it. If you're not going to do that, I highly recommend getting into meditations. Because either way, you're going to have to learn how to silence your mind. Otherwise, you're going to go crazy. And I'm going to give you guys one of the best tips that I used if you don't want to meditate, if you don't want to smoke weed. What I did that really helped me was one showers i think we all feel better once we get out of the shower and two if you find that your mind is racing get in a place that has a lot around you and look at everything around you and literally say it in your head like this is a hand sanitizer this is a chapstick this is a box this is shoes this is a sweatshirt and just keep saying it if you have to walk around in different rooms and keep saying that keep doing it Okay, keep doing it until your mind stops talking because what you're doing is redirecting yourself back in the present because maladaptive daydreaming and overthinking will take you out of the present. And that's when we feel that fake happiness, but that leads to like dissociation and stuff because we're not really here. And the whole process of quitting maladaptive daydreaming is to feel content with your present self. So... It's gonna feel really weird, I'm not gonna lie. It felt so weird when I was getting on this journey because my whole life, I was never in the present until I stopped. And when you're like getting in the present, it could feel boring and you're like, oh, I just want something to do. Especially if you have ADHD, this could go hand in hand with maladaptive daydreaming. But, you know, get a book, watch some movies. Also, do whatever you gotta do this month or that you're quitting or whatever. If that means that you're watching TV a lot, do it. If that means that you're sleeping a lot, and I mean really sleeping, not now after daydreaming while you're actually awake in bed, I don't mean that, because I know y'all do that too. <laughs> actually sleep, you know, like do whatever you have to do. Meditate, um, like I, the other thing I said earlier. Weed. And do that thing where you're in the room and just pointing everything out. Make sure you're eating as much as you need to eat. So you're not hungry. Make sure you're busy, right? Like make sure, I don't know if you have a job. I don't know if you're going to school, friends, whatever. Even if you want to open up to a friend and be like, hey, like I just want to get out more, do stuff. Because chances are, you've probably been staying at home a lot just so you can daydream. And now you're just like, okay, well, I got to get out there more because, you know, I'm like normal now. I'm in the present moment and I got to get out there and make sure like I'm not just bored all the time. So do whatever you gotta do to like uh, stay entertained and stuff in times that you're quitting and everything. Working out is a good thing too, but don't be writing no stories. Nothing that is creating something so elaborate in your mind. Poetry is great, okay? Highly recommend writing poetry, writing anything that resonates with your feelings down. But don't you dare be creating stories with characters and shit. I know what you're doing, you ain't slick. 
Um, especially not in like the first month or two after you have quit. You're stopping something that you've been doing your whole life. Go easy on yourself when you're finding these new ways to cope with all this big change, okay? I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions that you want to ask me, um, I'm totally open. Uh, I'll answer your comments and everything. I don't have that many followers on this, so I will for sure see it. Um, I don't even know if this video is going to reach people, but I hope it does because I haven't seen any videos on this and I would have really appreciated it when I was stopping that I saw a video like this. I hope you guys like these tips. So I was thinking about posting a video about how you can use magic and manifestation through the visualization gift from Mouth After Daydreaming, but I'm not going to do that unless anyone's interested in it. So if you guys are interested in that, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on that. But otherwise, yeah, that's it.